This one goes out to all my fighting Irish out there. Hope you guys are staying safe and doing well. My name is Benjamin Meta Penhas. I am a counselor here at the UCC. And uh, I want to spend some a uh, couple of minutes just talking about the law of diminishing returns for study. This might sound very familiar for those of you who study business administration or economics. Um, so bear with me. I think it's a great thing to incorporate not only to our academic lives, but our daily lives. So the law of diminishing returns is very simple. There's this great graph taken from personalexcellence.com and um, it's referring to the total output versus the total input. So as you can see, this right here is talking about time. So the total input. When you start a project or when you start studying, you will see that there is a rapid incline of productivity. So at the beginning stages, you're climbing up there, you're doing good, you're retaining information. But at some point, you're going to hit this point of diminishing returns. So this is a good way of thinking of at some point, you're going to plateau your productivity. When that's happening, you're still doing pretty good work. Okay, your total output is still going um, up. And you should still remain you should still remain working and doing what you're doing however at some point you're gonna hit this which is the point of maximum maximum yield it's kind of hard to know when that happens but maybe a good indication is when you're staring at your computer screen for 15 minutes and you you're not being able to do anything so at this moment, your productivity is going to go down with the amount of time that you put in. So when there's negative returns, that means that you're putting in a, a lot of input, but you're getting very little output out there. So this is a good way to stop. Now, as you can see, there's no time uh, described for this because each person has a different capability and different productivity um, when it comes to studying or even the subject they're studying. For instance, if I'm studying astronomy, this whole thing probably looks like a five minute interval that within five minutes I cannot retain more information. But if I'm studying something I like, then it can go on for a couple hours. This is a good way of tracking and understanding why all nighters are really not that effective yes if you um if you need to get something done then you can kind of ignore this negative returns because the achievement of completing something on time is basically what the output will track but if you're just trying to learn and you're studying and you have a couple of days and you're trying to be the most productive, take this into account. Um, so, you know, as you guys t go forward in your studying and in your productivity, make sure that you keep this graph in mind to track how you're doing. As always, take care of yourselves and be productive.